everybody, JK Calloway here, jumping back into Cobra Kai. We're into season two, and I know season three's out, just came out this past Friday, I think, New Year's Day. So we're gonna try to whip through season two as fast as we can, catch up to season three, but for now, season two, episode one, it's called Mercy Part Two. And I don't know how far into the future after the tournament we're gonna jump. Uh, Cobra Kai won, Miguel won. Uh, Robbie lost, but at the same time, didn't Miguel start training first? And they both started training within a year. It's a pretty good result for both guys. Good job. So a few big things that I hope or expect to happen in the near future here. Uh, Miguel still digs Sam. We'll see if that goes anywhere, but clearly uh, Sam seems done tends to happen when you get punched in the face on accident. At least it, you know, should be the case at all times. But also, it showed Sam do some karate of her own when she got home. And, you know, she might be considering joining Cobra Kai to straighten him out or keep him in check or just to start training with her dad again with Robbie. Who knows? But interesting. I want, I want to see what she's got. I looked it up. She's like 24 years old, so it's totally okay that I think she's cute. It's totally okay. That... But on top of that, big nut. Crease. I think that's how you say it, right? Crease? Crease, maybe? Johnny's old sensei from the original Cobra Kai, the original movies, is back. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see what that does to Johnny, because, like, he's got his footing pretty good. He kind of knows who he is and who he wants to be, how he wants to train. Uh, he doesn't feel great about how Cobra Kai won that tournament and doesn't want to be, the, you know, the sweep you sweep the leg sensei. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to be Kreese. But we'll see how that dynamic goes. That prick is back. And, uh... Ugh. You know? But yeah, I don't know how many episodes we're going to do. At least three. We're going to do at least three every Tuesday until we're caught up. We'll do four on the final week because there's ten episodes per. Uh, but I'm going to try to do as many as I can. It's, it's really just a matter of how much I can watch. Because, you know, i got a full-time job, baby. i got stuff to do. But we'll try to bang them out as fast as we can. Uh, I've already seen people that have binge-watched. I'm watching this on January 1st, by the way. It's January 1st right now. And Twitter's been blowing up. It's like, oh, that finale. And it's like, no, shut your face. Shut your face. So I'm going to try to bang out five this week, five next week, and then we'll be ready for season three. And we'll do two episodes a week uh, when we once we get to season three. Uh, but for now, let's do this, baby, before we get going. Hit that subscribe button for me. I always appreciate that. Right around 7,600 or so right now. Subscribers, which is awesome. We're getting closer and closer to 10K. Hit like so more people find us. We'd really appreciate that. Lots of shows on the channel, not just Cobra Kai. We're doing season two of Dead to Me right now. Season two of Ozark right now. Uh, this Is Us just came back. We'll be doing that for sure. Also check out Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. Full reactions to everything we do on YouTube. You see the full stuff there on Patreon. Plus some exclusive stuff like Barry and Stranger Things. We do on the weekends just for patrons. We do full season drops every first of the month. This past January 1st, just a day for me. Uh, we did The Queen's Gambit, which is a badass Netflix show. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go watch that and come check out my reactions on Patreon. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. Support the channel. We really appreciate you. Mercy Part 2. Like, what? There's so many ways it could go. Maybe they go to Japan. Maybe Miguel meets a nice girl. Maybe he gets one of those drums. I have one somewhere. It's in my boy's room, but they're sleeping. I have that drum somewhere. That, none of that's happening. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Thought you were dead. You ain't the only one, kid. I've been away a long, long time. 
You forgot. I taught you everything you know. Uh. Is he, are they gonna burn down this dojo? Oh, shit. Son? Ow. Go to hell, you son of a Like, again, you're not killed. It's a fucking submission. Show mercy to an old man. It's very honorable. For a second, I thought they were going to burn out of the dojo. I'm like, wow, damn, really? Uh-oh. Block. In her world, that's just... Oh, he's a dead man. He doesn't exist anymore. You're the champ now. You can get any chick in the valley you want. You're like Drake. <laughs> Enjoy it. You're like Drake. You have to plug your nose and sing songs like this. You have to do things that don't make sense. After Cobra Kai shut down, I knew I had to keep fighting to stay alive. So I re-enlisted. I ran strikes in Desert Storm. I trained SEALs in Afghanistan. The world needs Cobra Kai. Yeah, that's a nice little speech. The only problem is, there is no we. I remember you doing back then what you're doing right now. I'm trying to find my weakness. But I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not my sensei. The world may need Cobra Kai. But we don't need you. I'm not on your side, but why don't you just go after him for copyright? It's not his name. He took the name from you. Ah, hell yeah. Careful, that drum saved my life. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch it. It's just a toy. Did you attack your opponent when his back was turned? Yep. Yes, Sensei. Did you purposely attack your opponent's injury? Yes, Sensei. You think that makes you badass? Cobra Kai is about being badass. And the baddest badass is the one who beats his opponent when he's at his strongest. Diaz Hawk, 50 push-ups on your knuckles. Miss Robinson, warm them up. Yes, Sensei. Well, it's not fair to them. What you taught them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's over here. Uh, that's a Dexter. I mean, we could use that to hang the shelf, but then the screw will be doing all the work. Eventually, it would give out under all this weight. Like, talk to your really dad, need. dude. You look just like him. Is this your son? What's going on? My name's Raymond. Hey, man. Let's put the glass on the loading dock. Give me a second. Oh, for sure. Go away. God. Look, I know you're pissed at me. You have a right to be. Yeah. I'm trying to change. Sure. So instead, you're gonna torture me by training with that prick. Hey, you don't know Mr. LaRusso. He is a better man than you will ever be. I mean, he was an absentee father before. <laughs> you know, really. Yeah, he's trying. Awesome. You have to try a lot harder for a lot longer. Not even open 24 hours and I double my rust. I got a good feeling about this. All right, you guys should both get some rest because this summer, you're going to be spending a lot of time back here together. Still have the trophy. I fixed it for you. Yeah, he's back in. <laughs> it's not fair. Don't. Just let him go. Let him go. Let him go. No. Hold up. You prick. <laughs> Don't like your face. Yeah, he's back. But at the same time, like, Johnny still has those tendencies of being, like, the hard ass, you know, no mercy guy. But he, like, he's older, he's wiser. He wants to be, you know, the nurturer too, in a way. Or at least more so than he has been. So, I mean. Having that good cop, bad cop dynamic might not be a horrible idea. Let Crease be the big prick. And Johnny can start taking that role of, you know, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep, you know, hey, come on. You can do anything. Whatever. Whatever. 
could work. Let's see how it explodes. All right, well, that kind of sets up uh, the season for the most part. Miyagi Do uh, with the, I mean, Robbie and Sam. Don't really need Robbie. Sam looks like she's enough. But, you know, hey, sure. Like, I wonder if we're leading toward uh, another tournament. Are we really going to go a, a year this season? Like, is this season going to be a year? Because we started right, you know, from where we left off. Uh, or is it going to be some other thing that happens? You know, like, for example, like the first three, first three, the three Karate Kid movies, you know, they didn't jump. It wasn't a tournament at the end of, like, the, the, he spent the summer in Japan with Mr. Miyagi. And then the third movie was the tournament again. Barnes. I don't remember. He had spiky hair. He thought he was Billy Idol. The thing I like so far, especially season two, because they, they really did kind of paint this picture of uh, Miguel's actually kind of turning to the dark side a little bit. You know what I mean? Like he's uh, wants to win no matter what. He wants to prove he's a bad motherfucker. Doesn't like him, doesn't give a shit about anything. And they kind of dialed that back and they made everyone a little more human other than Hawk. <laughs> Hawk is becoming very quickly a caricature, so we'll see uh, where that goes with him. But everyone else, uh, you understand their motivation. You you feel for them. You root for you root for everybody. This is going to be damn interesting. I'm very excited to see where it goes from here. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. We'll jump in episode two here in a bit uh, and keep cracking away. Like, uh, watch as much as we can it's oh what time is it it's like 2 a.m it's now january 2nd so i'm gonna try to watch four more tonight no idea we'll see what happens yeah thank you guys for watching we will talk to you next time